I guess you can guess what I'm here for. <laughs> I was so surprised and so blindsided by the comments I hear of gratitude for a session that allowed us to be silent and to stop. But I was overwhelmed at breakfast this morning when 11-year-olds came running to me like I was the grandma with gifts in my hands to give. They were bouncing in their steps. They came up to me and they said, thank you, Lisa, for the two minutes of silence. Thank you for the two minutes of silence. It's not only our generation, the younger ones, the ones who stood here, appreciate that two minutes of silence. Maybe we're doing something right. Jenny had invited me to speak on mentoring because we're thinking of how do we mentor the next generation and yet over time as we listen to God and Jenny and I talk and I said Jenny it's okay I, I, I don't need a session I said but but there's something you know we did it five minutes of silence at the last new wineskins maybe you could do something I said, okay, I think, I think this is the direction we should go. And I'm glad we listened to God. It's not about how big a platform one can have, how big an audience one can captivate. It's about this listening, reflective listening. God is doing a mighty work among us and in us. We know that. This is a sacred ground. This is solemn. This is serious business. Our lives are being disrupted. We try to drink from the mission fire hose. And guess what? We didn't drown. We got drenched and were dripping with that agape love. Our hearts are broken and we want to go and love those people that he allows us to see. Our hearts were broken. Our hearts are still breaking, but our spirits are encouraged by many stories of faithfulness. God has confronted us and convicted us of our sins because we are high on control, low on compassion, abundant in pride, lacking in humility, heavy on activities, and light on prayer. Our fears are many and our faith is small. So we gather again to listen. We've heard God speak. What did he say to you? As I was listening to people, as I was walking around, as I was looking at faces and praying for people as I met them, I was asking God, what do you want me to say for this portion? And I think I heard something. 
that I thought would be appropriate. Of course, <laughs> I just do this. If you're like me, stopping is not a quick response. I mean, so right now, stop, okay? I mean, just, just bear with me, stop. Whatever it is that you are thinking, and if you're writing down things to do or people to call, just stop. My husband and I sometimes tease each other, honey, that was not a full stop, that was a California roll. Nope, no California rolls. Stop. Because when we stop, full stop, we will know how to be slow. We cannot just slow. And we, sometimes we need the full stop. And then we can gather that breathing again. So breathe in. God is here. Breathe out, we heard him. Breathe in, God is here. Breathe out, we heard him. So again, in silence, what I'd like you to hear is that God loves you so deeply, so unconditionally, and so abundantly. He knows what we're doing. He knows what we want to do. He knows our plans. He, he knows the cathedral we want to build in Brazil. He, he knows all of that, but for these two minutes, I think he wants you to hear that he loves you. Not well done, because that means work. No, I love you. 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 You with your pain. You with your dream. You with your hopes. With your, with you with your longings. He loves you. So for those next two minutes, just bask and be quiet and receive that love from our Heavenly Father.
Breathe in, God is here, and breathe out. I am loved. We are loved. I want you to walk away from this time seeking to be more attentive. Attentiveness is a skill. It's something very hard to do because we all are products of our culture where it's very hard to focus, correct? We are surprised when somebody pays attention to us without interruption. When somebody focuses on us as if the only person in the room, it seems like, wow, nobody has treated me like this. I want us to develop in our attentiveness because when we are attentive, our ears can hear, our eyes can see the one. When we are attentive, we can be the one to be that light. And we can share the one true God. When we are attentive, we are really slowing down. We're not a blur, like I said the first night. I have several teachers in the past 10 years. Um, there are six faculty in this school. We will be joined by another faculty in late December. I'm talking about my grandchildren. As missionaries, with our drive to do things, we may forget what it's like to be. Because there's so much to do. After all, we invented the post-it. I love post-its. So my teacher is two-year-old Harper. They live in Charleston. Every time we visit, there will be things planned. Of course, we'll go to the beach. We go walking in the neighborhood. And the parents would get ready. And they're excited. And they say this thing, this phrase. Let's do it. And little Harper mimics her parents. Let's do it. There was this joy in her voice. Let's do it. I hope that we recover the joy of our salvation. I hope we recover the joy of serving God. Let us not be the elder brother slaving out on the field, looking on the side, surprised that there is a feast because he doesn't know his father's heart. My other teacher is Max, who's four years old. When he turned four, my daughter, her auntie, had sent a gift. It was late in coming. And my daughter-in-law videoed Max when the gift arrived. And the picture was heartwarming. He said, there's a gift for you. And he said, a gift? Yeah. And he said, for me? Yeah, for you. He must really love me. Me? A gift for me? They must really love me. Let us capture the wonder. I'm always surprised. Me? Speak? God, oh wow, what a gift. Me? Get to be the president of a seminary? Wow, what a gift. 
me get to be a pastor, me get to talk to the children, me having to rescue prostitutes, me working with the people with albinism, me working with the lost boys. What, God, this is wonderful. Let us capture that joy. Ask God to be filled with wonder again that we may be sustained in our desire to serve the living God. Let's be quiet again, and then we will go into prayer for the nations. Just a short time to breathe in. You're here. Breathe out. We heard you. This part, we will move into different places where you see the flags around you on your side so that we can pray in particular remembering the persecuted church. So there are countries and you are welcome to move around. Some of you, if you would like to stay and linger a little bit, of course, that's fine. You are welcome to go in the balcony Lay hands, like Andrew said, on the flags that you are familiar with and pray. And so this will be our season of prayer. And later, we will have a closing uh, prayer to end our evening. Thank you.